year, but Drew came in and got hurt um, prior to camp and never really got a chance to compete. So now he's put himself in a chance to compete. Now it's up to those two guys. Um, you know, not only how they do in, in, in preseason games, but you know what, what they do in practice will matter too. Do you anticipate taking every day available to make that decision, or would ideally you like to have that made? No, I, I, I think I'll have to feel that out, quite honestly. It, it, uh, this will be the first time we've had a, a punting competition with three preseason games. And uh, uh, so I, I, I think that uh, that'll be a feel deal. I'm going to Jay, I, I can't even put a time table on it, but I assume it'll probably go all the way through. What is uh, next for Evan McPherson in his development? Well, I, I think that uh, for any player, um, especially a young player, your biggest improvement, your biggest development should come between year one and year two. Um, because they know what to expect. They know what an NFL season holds. They know what uh, a training camp's like. They know what uh, the weekly routine's like. Um, so I, I still expect them to uh, uh, make improvement, uh, make adjustments. Um, you know, I, I think uh, improving his kickoffs is a, is a thing that uh, um, he could certainly, that we will certainly focus on in training camp. Um, and, and really, you don't get a pickup where you left off. So, I mean, you're hitting reset and he's starting all over again. Um, so, you know, what he did a year ago, it, it's, it's great from a confidence standpoint for him and for our team. But uh, it really doesn't matter. That was a long time ago. So um, it's it's reset and starting all over. Uh, but, but kickoffs are something I think we certainly got to focus on to work to try and improve. On the outside there, and we see the smiles, we see the relaxation that, you know, he you know, exemplified last year throughout the postseason. How competitive of a guy is that? Oh, I think that's his, his, his biggest trait, uh, or I think his, his most uh, beneficial trait. I think he's hyper competitive. Um, I think he has a unique way of showing, uh, or, or probably not showing how competitive he truly is deep down. Um, I noticed that the uh, uh, day that I worked him out at Florida, uh, prior to the draft of his pro day, he was really competitive. He relishes uh, uh, tough tight spots, meaning, you know, the situational kicks that you get into the half end of the game, he relishes in those. Uh, so he may seem like he's happy-go-lucky, but deep down he's really competitive, and I think that's his most, his biggest quality that makes him successful, that's made him successful after one year. Let, let's not, uh, you know. Put him in Canton? No, no. He, he, had, he had a good year, and don't get me wrong, and that's yeah. great. We, we all feel really good about where he's at, but, but uh, or what he did last year, but. Again, that was last year, and we're hitting reset. Who are you looking at, a kick returner or a punt returner? 